let me just show you guys there you go two tiles with sound effects in particles that is the tutorial guys this is the area I've been busy with ok so that is your basic two cameras you have the first person camera and then you have the top down camera I'm just gonna show you before I get into the tutorial I'm gonna show you um, this area is done ok I need a shovel I'm gonna create some tools 3D models in Blender or SketchUp ok so so that I can um, use that shovel by um, removing the grass first this is the first uh, a layer ok as you can see but um, before I do the shovels and all the 3D modeling I would like when I when I click on the tile I want some um, um, dust dust effect like a particle system I'm not gonna use 3D mesh uh, um, models for, for my particles I'm gonna use uh, sprites ok so as you can see there the whole area is cleaned um, you're gonna have some roots coming out of the ground but that is in a different tutorial ok so this is the top down camera that was the first person camera so you have two types of views that you can add you can um, edit your, your levels as you can see I, I mo my opinion is I like this camera editing in this camera because why I have more visualization on my area on how big I want my area to be ok so this plots you need to buy this plots you can buy this plots and by removing tiles you, you can uh, deduct money from your from your uh, uh, from your cash ok with if you, you you're gonna have money in this game but um, in this short tutorial I'm just gonna add some dust particles while clicking on the tile you know it looks more realistic and I also want to put like a shovel sound so yeah if it's your first time here my name is uh, Rude Rudy Tutorials I'm busy with the platformer farming game you can use it for survival also um, it's like click and place not click and drag it's click and place items ok so let me start by creating the particle system ok you need to watch the tutorial video you see there ok as you can see there's no sound effects nothing is a click I want like a dust particles to to come from from the from the from the clicking ok by removing the tile like I said um, so what I wanted to tell you guys is this is not scripting I'm not using any scripting it's just actions and behaviors like I said I don't do scripting in Copper Cube um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to create your models individual tiles ok ok the first thing you need to do is you need to create individual tiles in your 3d modeling application and then you need to import that tile and you have to create all your actions and behaviors on that one tile before duplicate, duplicating that tile ok as you can see I saw you did you see that let me show you again that is the type of particle system I want there you go it's done ok so the next thing I'm gonna do is let me just have another look that is beautiful ok so we need to add some sound onto that have another look Poof, there you go ok I'm going to download some sound effects from the internet um, and then I'll get back to Copper Cube and add that sound effect ok now let's have a look how that works out for us nice ok I'm just playing around with the particle system before I add the sound guys I don't want to come back and work on the same component again I want to finish it up um, 
Okay, let me go to the grass tile one. No, wait, I have to go to the particle system. Let's create another one. I'm gonna create another particle. Now we need a sound, 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 sound. Where's the sound effect? I'm gonna use the 3D sound. We can change it to a 2D sound. Okay. There's, there's two ways we can do this. We can add that we can add the sound icon, the sound effect to the world, or we can use it as a behavior in action. But let's first use it in the world scene and see how it works out for us. Okay. I'm just gonna position it center to the tile because why it belongs to the tile. The sound effect, but I'm gonna use the same sound effect on all the tiles so you don't need to input uh, import uh, the, self, the sound file again. Okay. I'm gonna pl put it on player studio. Let me just go fetch the sound file. I just created in Audacity. Actually edited in Audacity. It was a full uh, mp3 file so I put it at dot OGG. That is the file format I'm using because it's very lightweight. Okay. And I just use the sample of the uh, uh, file. So, um, it's, it's very short. It's about three seconds. Okay, it's a loop. You can use it as a loop file. But I didn't loop it because I just wanted to play once. So the next thing we need to do is I'm gonna go in here where I click on the tile. I'm gonna put the sound file here. It's much better. Okay, then we know the hierarchy shorted play sound, play a sound effect. 2D. I'm gonna leave the volume at 100. So let's let's go and find that sound file. Okay. Let me first delete the other one. Um. Yeah, yeah. Let's add it here. I'm gonna add the sound here. Play sound. Um. There's no sound files to stop. So we're gonna play the sound. Like I said, add the sound file. Dot OGG. No, we're not gonna put it on loop. Okay. Let's go down. We're going to delete this one in the world, the 3D sound. I'm gonna delete it. What am I doing? Let's just have a look how that works out for us, okay? There you go, now we have some dust particles and we have a sound effect. Let's try it again, let's have a look again. Okay. There you go, that's perfect. So we need to put to do the, the other tile also. We're gonna do all the tiles. So I'm gonna skip that part. But let me just show you guys. There you go. Two tiles with sound effects and particles. That is the tutorial guys. The next video I'm going to add some vegetation. Some roots growing wherever you clean a tile there's gonna roots gonna be popping up. Okay, so you need to clean that roots. 